Uh, that tea is fantastic, by the way. I just want to let you all know that you're missing out on fantastic tea. Unless you also have fantastic tea, in which case, uh, well done. Ooh, mysterious construction has been begun. You took ages to do this, right? Okay, we want to press tea and we want to have a look inside. How much have you got? You've got, oh, okay, you're just weak and took ages to move it. Rough fire opal and two gabbro. Okay. Now, there is a trick to doing that. Um, I'm not sure if this trick still stands, but if you forbid the item inside the uh, Craftswolf workshop, so, for example, he wanted to use Gabbro uh, or, or Fire Opal or something like that, and I forbid it, he'll go and get another one to bring back. And then I forbid that one. He'll go get another one and bring it back. Go get another one and bring it back. And then... You unforbid them all, and what will happen is he will use, for his mysterious construction, every piece of uh, uh, material in the workshop when he begins. So it's a way of tricking him into making much, much more valuable constructions. Let's uh, see. Tux Fan Turnip. Does Twitch not recognize Dwarf Fortress? Alas, it does not, I'm afraid. It doesn't actually recognize Dwarf Fortress, which is very, very unfortunate. And I know I set it to three. I, I don't mind it. Ooh, there we are. A Gabro Ring. Very well. Let us have a look at that Gabro Ring. Can, can we? Can we have a look at it? There we go. The Gabbro Ring. I want to see the description, of course. This is a Gabbro Ring, or Craftswolf ship, is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with oval Gabbro cabochons and encircled with bands of round Gabbro cabochons. This object is adorned with hanging rings of fire opal. How lovely. It is worth 21,600 dwarf bucks. That is actually quite a very valuable item. Now, you did this, our little uh, peasant. You are now, Rum Patrol, the not peasant. Let's uh, see you, Rum Patrol. Let's have a look at your skills. You are now a legendary stone carver. Legendary plus one. Well done. You're no longer a peasant. You can say goodbye to having to do all of those menial tasks. Uh, shall I make you an artisan as well? I think I might. I'll also make you a gem setter, thinking about it. Um, not a strand extractor. Maybe not a potter either. Uh, I'll give you the other... Items there. Glass maker. We will make... Uh, Rum Patrol is now going to be an artisan. Master artisan, in fact. There we are. Because your name flashes. It means you're amazing. Also, let's actually just check it out. I shall name you Kiss It Drinks. Kiss to Drinks, sorry. That was very satisfying. She feels satisfied after creating an artifact. With the last season, she was uneasy when caught in freakish weather. She felt pleasure near the front table, blah, 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 blah. She was blissful dining in a great dining room. Uh, didn't care too much that things were dying around her and liked fine seats. Well, you know what? That was amazing. Well done, you. Now, there is apparently... Is someone wounded? Let's uh, check out the reports. Oh, no. Isdar is hunting. That's that's right. Well done, Isdar. Perhaps I should actually uh, just go ahead and set this to uh, the highest priority. This way we can get it all done in one go. Can I update the priority there? Yes, we can. Maybe. No, maybe not. Hmm. How did I change this? I believe I changed it. Standard marker only. Um, toggle standard marking. There was something I did, and I actually genuinely forget how I managed to get it to uh, decide to do this. D ah, there we are. A for automating ores and gems. Let's make this a priority one. There we go. That should now be super high priority, and uh, someone should come along and deal with it right now, I hope. We're all lucky to drown under the slime, Frizzy says. You may actually be right, Frizzy. 
I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that one. The odds of horrible, horrible death beneath literal layers of muck fairly high in this fort. Right, now that we've built that, we want to build a lever. So traps and, and levers, we want... No, that's not what I wanted. Traps, lever, oh, T, capital T. And we want a lever. We'll place the lever somewhere... See, the nice thing about, about this sort of stuff is you can build it very far away. We'll build it in the main hall, because there's usually going to be someone there. And then once that's built, we'll hook it up to the bridge so that someone in the main hall is going to be able to activate the drawbridge. It doesn't really matter too much how far away it is. Or at least it didn't used to. There we go. Fantastic. Dion, TF, Darkfire Phoenix, now Necros can only reanimate corpses with heads. Before they could reanimate hair, leather, etc. And it was fun. Oh, really? So I'm not going to be able to have any more... Um, dark Army kind of shenanigans going on? That's a, that's a bit of a shame. I mean, it, it's certainly good for the dwarves, but I mean, it is a bit of a shame as well. Right, can we perhaps brew some drinks? Yes, thank goodness. Let's get some more brewing done. And let's go check on our mining. Hmm. I'm still not seeing it happening. Where is our stone right? Constructing my... Ah, balls. Okay, well, uh, I did just tell him to make a load of stuff, so I, I guess... I guess, okay. We do want to get that drawbridge set up pretty quickly. Uh, we want a couple more cages. No, actually, I think we've got enough. Build, trap, cage trap. Let's get a couple more added into this little trap corridor. There we go. We'll have one there. We'll have one here. We'll have another two there. And we'll allow the mechanisms then to uh, start building up as well. We don't want to rush things there. Okay, let's uh, see what's going on in chat. It seems to uh, be interesting. Oh, it seems that, that Recon... feels... Oh, okay. Recon, the, all the stuff about coffee is very much tongue-in-cheek. No one actually thinks worse of someone because they drink coffee. It, it's it's along the same sort of lines as when people make <laughs> sheep shagging jokes of the Welsh. No one actually thinks, or at least I certainly hope they they don't think that that you know Welsh people generally have sex with sheep. It's it's just one of those things, and I personally think it's it's a a sign of a healthy community when it can laugh at itself and it, it just embraces these kinds of in-jokes. Or at least that may be a British thing. I don't know. I, I know that um, some of my comments about like American football that were made entirely uh, almost a self-mockery that I didn't understand American football. Of course I do. I think I've mentioned that in previous streams that I, I although I don't watch the sport, I understand it. But, um, you know, when I was, when I was uh, making a joke about... Someone having quarter of a back. It, it's very, very much just just uh, good-natured teasing, really. It's a shame that sometimes it does get taken taken a little bit too much to heart. Um, but, and like I said, I think perhaps that's a, a bit of more of a, of a British thing. We, we, we tend to laugh at ourselves, otherwise we just cry. Uh... Bigs Penny J. Hi Avak. Hi chat. Hello, Bigs Penny. And Golf Boy, no, this fortress does not have tea yet. It has rum. A poor substitution for tea, I agree, but at least it's not coffee. See, see what I did there, the recon? Tongue in cheek. Don't don't take it hard, honestly. I do not think ill of anyone who drinks coffee. Truth be told, as I've mentioned it quite a few times, I the only thing that I dislike about coffee is that it's it's got such a high caffeine 
content, that people who drink a lot of it tend to develop a dependency on caffeine to function normally. It's one of those things where either you don't drink much of it at all, or you should, or you need to drink a lot of it in order to function because your your brain starts to kind of lean on caffeine. It's it starts to uh, depend on it not to feel tired, and uh, that can that can lead in in a in a pretty bad direction. Right? Have we built our lever? Yes, we have. Fantastic. By the same token, though, if someone drinks. <laughs> Well, let's face it, if someone drinks as much tea as I do, they're probably going to develop a dependency on tea. <laughs> I've said it. I drink far, far too much tea. Really shouldn't drink as much as I do. But uh, I do try to uh, mix in green tea with the tea that I drink through the day to try and reduce the amount of caffeine I'm taking in. A, a person my size, my age, can probably uh, ingest about 400 milligrams of caffeine a day, and it would be pretty normal and not not detriment might even be a, a benefit but more than that and you're gonna really start to worry tea typically per cup about 10 15 milligrams coffee about 75 milligrams so if you have more than four cups of coffee a day you are taking in much more caffeine than you should now it looks like we are slowly getting these traps set up that is fantastic just a pair there's never too much tea well said I don't know what I was talking about. That was probably Dark Avak just sneaking in there to say something like that. No. Tea is fantastic. Nothing could go wrong. You should rub it in your face. It's very good for your eyes. Oh, Kijoti. Avak, your miner won't mine until you set the designation marker to standard. Okay. Right, so I want to... Designate, oh, uh, tab, no. M for standard. Toggle standard markings, okay. So we want to toggle this, like so, perhaps, to green. Uh, okay, I'm going to assume that that's going to work. So now it's uh, green, hopefully. We'll see. I really don't understand how this is all working, so I do apologize if I'm derping with it. No, it looks it looks like he's on his way. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very, very much, Kyoti. That is That has been a great help. Now, let's see how this is actually working. Now, I've told him to automate the mining of the gems. Yes, he is. Oh, that is amazing. That is literally one of the most tedious things in Dwarf Fortress is having to mine a vein and just painstakingly following it through. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Wow. Truly wow. Thank you so, so much. Ah, some cranberry biscuits have been made, and they were masterpieces. Well done, bright Mr. Lego. There's a cat trying to follow our miner. Desperately trying to get to him, vomiting all over itself as it goes. I hope it doesn't die. That would be sad. Now, is he going to mine that gem? Or is he going to ignore it? Ah, he's mining. He's ignoring the gem. Duh, dope. Oh, well. I'm just going to leave him to uh, mine his way through the universe there. Because it looks like he wants to. This Mr. Tetrahedrite is going to be amazing, though. That is a um, is an ore of... Copper and silver, there's a 20% chance when you smelt tetrahedrite that you will get anything from um, one to four bars of silver. You will always get four bars of copper for each of those um, pieces of ore. <laughs> Dion, I'm like, I don't know how it's working either. I did not test it yet. We learned to together. That is the best kind of learning. Together learning. V4NZ666, hi Avak chat, strike the earth, indeed strike the earth. Right, has this been linked up to our system? I, an easy way to check is to try to link it to another bridge, and if there isn't another bridge to link it to, it's fine. Okay, we're doing alright. How are our sheep and lambs doing? Oh, you gads, what just happened to the camel? Overcome by terror! Oh, it's raining repulsive slime. Okay, calm down, calm down. 
Oh dear, they're all they're all legging it. Ah, oh, no, that's not good. Get back in your pens, you silly animals. I do need to get them inside, though. I need to get them safe. Um, hmm. Let's see, how's everything going over here? He is still mining. My God, this is amazing. He's finding loads of gems too. Well, I could easily forget that he's up there. This is a bit of a problem, though. Uh, we're going to need a new storage area. Oh wow! <laughs> now I see all kinds of designations going on. I can see the priorities of these things. Uh, you know what? That's fine. At a priority four, I'm happy for you to continue mining this out. Uh, however, I want a priority three for you to mine this out. I want this up, up. There we go. So this will be a priority three stockpile. Um, and I guess it'll be for stone and ore. Though a lot of this will simply be taken out and put into here as soon as it's smelted down to bars. Janix, I have no clue what's going on. So if I throw out some stupid questions, just keep that in mind. But fair enough. Honestly, I... I had a really cool teacher in, in school. I once I, I asked a, a very, very silly question, or I, or I made a very silly answer. At least the answer I gave was really poorly worded. Um, it was in English, and we were just talking about biology at the time. The, the, my teacher's name was uh, Mahoney, which is fantastic. Now I, I, I'll probably remember that for a very long time. But uh, uh, this is in high school, by the way. And um, I was trying to find the word for for respiration, but I couldn't find it. So I said photosynthesis. Me, uh, well, what I was trying to express was the, the reverse of photosynthesis. So you're taking in carbon dioxide, uh, sorry, taking in oxygen, producing carbon dioxide, rather than taking in carbon dioxide, producing oxygen. And the, the classroom just erupted in laughter at my expense. And to be fair, it was funny. But um, he got really serious. He said, no one will is ever allowed to laugh at someone, no matter how wrong their answer could, should be. And the, the, he was really serious. He, he actually, you know, it was the, the, the only time I'd ever really seen him almost get angry, but he was really adamant that you should never laugh at anyone for asking a, uh, or, or making, uh, asking a question or, or making a genuine answer. If they, whether they're wrong or not, it doesn't matter. At least they were trying. And, you know, if they're wrong, tell them they're wrong and explain it. Don't mock them for it. And I, that's always stuck with me a little bit. So the, there, are, there are no stupid questions. There are no stupid answers either. That saying is wrong. There are only wrong answers and right answers. And that is pretty much the be-all, end-all of it. Right, let's watch what's going on here then. Hopefully, our miner is taking a bit of a break because he's not up there mining. Darkfire Phoenix, necrosis. Wait a moment, can necromancers revive necrotic organs? Um, I have no idea. And Dion DF, the next update will include bards, poets, dancers, and priests. Maybe you'll have dwarves that are all of them at the same time. I can only imagine that would be fantastic. Right, we want uh, some stone... Uh, some craft workshop. We want rock crafts, pretty much made indefinitely. But we also very much want some... Pardon me, wooden vaults. Uh, we don't want too many of those, actually. Let's go in here. Oh, really? Are there no wooden vaults made? Why? What? Why is Parafoul... Ah, oh, drat! I never set Parafoul up as the manager. I'm a derp. Okay, well, hopefully Parafoul will get those wooden bolts made now. Ballo 2. I wish I had a teacher like that. We got shamed for being wrong. I made my... it. I made my voice disappear. Uh, I imagine that's connected and that you, you mean that you... Uh, didn't really speak up after that. And that is a real shame because it encourages people not to actually try to learn. Bright Mr. Lego just made it a massive, made a masterpiece Bayberry biscuits. Well done, Bright Mr. Lego. Right now we want to uh, mine once again and we want 
automate ore and gems. Uh, all of these. As priority four. All of them. All the gems should be mined. That is honestly just fantastic. I, I genuinely can't even begin to express how much I am appreciative of that. Alright, let's uh, get everyone back inside if we can. Our camels and sheep are just going bonkers. Damn it, get back inside, you stupid animals. They're just losing their minds over the slime. Maybe I actually need to, to wall this off so they can't easily get out. Um, I know what I can do. I'm going to build a door. No, a door, I said. No, apparently I'm not. Now, here's a question. If I build a door, will enemies be able to break it down? Because I would... If I can't, then I'm not going to build it where I'm intending to. I don't want to have a situation where our fort can be protected from just a wooden door. And that enemies will never try to pass through it. Morphin, I wonder if dwarfish poetry is the same as my poetry after a few too many beers or spiked tea. Well, maybe. Right, we are clearing out this area, which is going to be for stones and bars, and we will then, hopefully, get to work. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Have you become legendary? I think he has. Say chaotic, yes, is a legendary miner. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. A legendary miner, there we are. Okay, so uh, any sort of mining is going to be trivially easy for them. Uh, did I break the bloody Craftsworth workshop again? Why? That is... I'm sure I didn't do it that time. I must have, but... Uh, how frustrating. Let me get that rebuilt. Indeed, this drawbridge is three wide, and this entry point is three wide. So this is linked up to a lever, so I can pull that and uh, close off that part of the fort if I need to. We've got a number of idle dwarves. They're still bringing things down from up there, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's uh, see what's actually there. How many items have they still got? Not many anymore. We've actually managed to uh, dig them down a little bit. There's a bronze harp. Fantastic. Big fan of the harp, obviously, being Welsh. It is our, uh, our national instrument. Right, they are getting a bunch of the traps now loaded up with cages, which is very good to see. Let's uh, see what else is going on. We've still got uh, things set up there for the um, milking. What have we got here? Prepare easy meals. Butcher shop still. Let's uh, brew some more drinks, please, from plants. Also brew some more from fruit. We've got a fishery. Okay, things things are going all right for the moment, I think. Garmin, Avak will get destroyed by humanoid creatures that can climb. Yeah, a little bit. More than likely. I'll probably fill this corridor here with traps as well. But for the time being, this will be good enough for me. Um... And as soon as we can actually start smelting some of that glorious, glorious metal. Smelt the tetrahedrite indefinitely, please. Until you run out of tetrahedrite to smelt. Oh, it is saving. It is a change of season. Spring has arrived. We have made it through our first year. This is a pretty rough uh, embark. Though we have been very lucky. The first siege, the zombies just basically, ah, oh, nah. You're not fat enough. Yeah, there are not enough people. We'll come back when there are more of you and we can eat you all. So uh, we got out of that one, which was pretty good. Death Doomsday. Just a question, but where did your channel picture um, come from, Avak? Do you mean the, the dragon, Death of Doomsday? If so, then I drew it. Now, let's uh, get a stone... Stockpile. 
We'll build this up and we will give it again many, many wheelbarrows. We want max wheelbarrow W5, so only five people can be working here at the same time. We also want to change the settings, make sure it's bringing in all sorts of stones. Good, good. And now we want five more wheelbarrows. Let's get those made. Fantastic. And Craftsoft Workshop is making wooden bolts. Hurrah! We also need to cancel one of them, though. So let's cancel one. Uh, no, no, no. That is the wrong thing to do. Ha, ha, ha. Caught you that time. I was hitting X when I was trying to press C. Ha. Caught you. There we go. That will eventually get filled up with making more bolts. It'll all be well. Don't worry. Don't worry. Zilver, oh, finally, I've been checking this stream every other day, and this is the first time I've caught an actual live stream. There is no specific stream schedule in doobly-doo. I watched Avak a few weeks ago on YouTube playing Nomoria. Hey, guys, how long has the stream been up? Sorry for this long block of text. No problem, Zilver. I am no stranger to taking a long time to say what I want to say. It has been running for exactly... Four hours and ten minutes, and we'll probably run for a little while longer. Honestly, I'm uh, really enjoying this, and I my throat seems okay at the moment, which is amazing. And uh, so I see no reason to stop, honestly. Now, let's see. How are things going? What kind of reports are we getting? Needs empty cage. It is re raining. Machine whisperer cancels lo load cage. No, Isdar can't uh, hunt because he hasn't got anything. Okay, we're going to uh, get a bunch more cages made then. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make me a load of wooden cages. There we go, that should be plenty enough there. And hopefully, my dwarves will start using the wheelbarrows to load all of the stone in there, which will be fantastic. Uh, let's see, we do still need many, many more cages. How's all the tetrahedrite going up here? They are starting to bring in the tetrahedrite. That's fantastic for us. All right, then. The next thing that we really want to do, then, I guess if we build a lip, it would protect this whole area, which I'm okay with doing, certainly. Um, it is going to require that we build up a fairly large area. Uh, let's see... We've got trees reaching up into the sky that I'm not too happy about. Right, let's build some construction flooring. Uh, let's build this out first there. We'll use, we'll use more wood, I think. There's not really any particular reason not to. And we'll fill that out there as well. There we are. Now that is going to begin the process of us being able to wall this whole section off and thus protect ourselves. We'll do a bit here as well. And a little bit there. And now, the question is, we don't want to uh, build any kind of wall over our farms. That would be a very, very, very silly thing for us to do. Instead, we'll build right up around it. So, uh, more floors. Place this here. More willow logs. And place a floor there as well. And some more flooring down here. We'll slowly build this place out. And then we can safely conceal it completely from any approaching enemies. Uh, let's go down here, get some more ginkgo logs. There we are. And then there as well. Uh, Needs two. No, we'll go with three. Here. There we are. Now, hopefully, this will uh, prevent us from having an issue with anyone just climbing in and wrecking our base. Hopefully. It might not, but uh, I'm willing to give it a shot. 
Uh, we'll need some more floor here as well. We'll probably have to chop down these large trees outside, even though they're apple trees, just because, basically. Um, if we can get those out of the way, then it's going to make our life a hell of a lot easier, I imagine. Um, I'm just kind of mapping out in my head where we're going to be building all of this. There we are. And some ginkgo wood logs. Are there any more logs? Birch logs inside. High logs. Tower cap logs. I think that's it. Okay, well, in that case, we're cancelling that part. And we are actually going to designate this area to be chopped down. So let's get rid of this tree. And let's get rid of this tree. Uh, how many trees around here can I fell. Uh, let's get rid of you two and you three. That should give us enough wood to uh, last us for quite some time, I imagine. Who dat? How are you ding dong diddly doing, Eric? I am doing pretty, pretty well at the moment. Thank you very much for asking. Uh-oh. Someone is horrified, thus they're going to stop storing something in uh, the stockpile. Very well, I'm going to go ahead and build a door. I'm going to assume that the uh, door issue has been addressed. And we're not going to have too much is issue with uh, anything trying to break its way in. Now we are doing a fair job of storing stuff up. Our miner is probably asleep, I can only imagine. Let's have a look. What are you up to? Construct oh, constructing a building. Okay. Looks like you may be uh, working on constructing the floors, which uh, is not amazing. I would actually prefer you to be mining right now, but uh, I did make them... Uh, well, maybe I didn't make them a really high priority. We'll, we'll have to see. But I think it is about time for a brief tea break. So I'm going to uh, hop off and uh, get myself another cuppa. And I recommend that you do the same. Stretch your legs, get something to drink, possibly go on a brief bio break, whatever you need to do. I will be gone for about five minutes and then I shall return. So see you then. <laughs> 